Hello, this video is on how to use Canva to make custom buttons. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is if you are perfectly happy using a template that I have created, you can go into this PowerPoint that I've made and go to the Canva buttons, click on that link and it's going to open it up saying this template was created. So you can click use template. So now this has a bunch of different buttons that I've already made. So if you think these are good enough for you, you like the colors, you can use them as is, but you can also actually edit them and make them personal for you. So if you're cool with like the design, but you don't like the colors, what you can do is click on each individual sort of icon or each piece and edit it as much as you'd like. So for example, these blue dots, um, I'm at West Springfield, so our colors are orange and blue. If you wanted to use different colors, you can go in here and um, just search random colors. So I think I kind of like this weird green here. Ooh, that's tough with the orange. We're gonna edit it though. So then this sort of deep, deep blue, I'm gonna edit that. So I wanna click on the color icon and let's make that one like a yellow, green and yellow. It's gonna be super busy. Oof, that's too bold. I kinda like that. And then I'm gonna make the text in front of this um, another green. So now I'm gonna click on this text color button and then we can make it that same green if we wanna just keep working with that same color. So notice how in the top here it says document colors. So these are the colors that I've used throughout this whole document. So as you start to pick a color that you like, it'll just be right up here, super easy to access again. So I like this if we're going with green and yellow, it's kind of bold, bright colors, but I'm into it. Now I used something called weekly plans. If you don't want that to be a button, then what you can do is just double click on it and edit what it says. So maybe I don't have weekly plans, but maybe I'm gonna have every day of the week as a button. So I'll make it Monday. This is really big, right? So I'm gonna highlight it, go up to my sizing here, and edit that just one by one until it gets down to a reasonable size. And now this is kind of up a little bit too high. So what we can do is click on position and click middle. And so that's gonna put this right in the center of the circle. And so I've kept the whole kind of design, but I've edited it to be what I want it to be. Now, if you want to do that for every single one in here, you are more than welcome to do that. But a neat little trick that works in Canva is I can just click duplicate page. So this sort of copy button up here duplicates it. So if I want to have the same exact style for every single button that I'm going to use, but I just want to change the words, it's super easy to do that. And then I can do it again. And I'm sure I'll have to edit the sizing here. So we can do that same thing until it gets down. And then again, go put it in the middle of my circle here. Now, maybe you like this color scheme, but you kind of want to do something a little bit fancier and maybe alternate um, for each row or like every single column that you're going to do. So maybe this next one, I'm going to duplicate it just to show you this. And I want to make these opposite. So I'm going to make a yellow set of dots a green circle, and then I want this text to be yellow. So now we can see it's sort of the opposite of my previous ones. And this I think can get a little bit bigger just to kind of fill that circle up. And maybe I'd wanna do the same thing with Tuesday, but it's totally up to you. So that's how we can edit these. Now. This is if you just wanna use what I've already created. If you kinda of wanna be a little bit different than that, you sort of get the idea, but you wanna be more unique, what you can do is go to canva.com, just go to your home page here, and we can search. This is relatively new, so this is pretty cool, but you can search for Schoology buttons. And I think if I just hit enter, it'll pop up with all of these different kinds of buttons. So these are the correct kind of square shape that we want um, for our buttons. And they already have all these cool little, you know, icons on it. So maybe you like the circle background, um, maybe you like this little clipboard looking thing. 
I'm thinking I like this icon here. And so this only has the one. I'm just going to get rid of that. So I don't want it to say class project. I want it to say homework. I don't know. So I can just change it like that. And then again, I can duplicate it, double click, change that icon to say something else. If I don't like this color scheme, we can do the same thing that we did before. Click on what I want to change, click on that color and edit it accordingly. And see how this document's colors are different than the last one because we've got this new page that I'm on. It's got that pink, it's got that kind of orangey yellow in there for the notepad, but you can edit that to be your school colors or just whatever colors you're into. And then one last thing that I wanted to show you is the font. So I don't like this font. I think it's really boring. So I'm just gonna click on it, click on the font, and then kind of go through. That's a little much. How about that? Ooh, that's cool. And I'm gonna just make that a little bit bigger. That looks great. Now, if you're not into the pencils and the notebook and stuff and you wanna add some cool new elements, click on this element button and you can search for whatever you want and they'll have a lot of cool different options here. So I'm a math teacher, I'm gonna put a calculator in. Now notice here how these have the little crown. That means you have to pay for it and I'm not about that life. I would assume you are the same. So we're gonna look on the ones that say free. And what I like about this one is that it's all one color and I'm hoping that I can actually change that color. Ooh, turns out, no I cannot. Okay, well that stinks. Let's see if we can find one that actually works. How about that guy? Okay, beautiful. So I like this little calculator. I'm gonna rotate it to kind of fit, and I might actually get rid of this stuff. So I wanna have my calculator, um, and I wanna make it the colors that we were previously dealing with, so I'm gonna click on the color up here. Let's do that nice dark blue, and then I wanna change this outline, so that's this kind of like dark, dark teal. I wanna change that to be, let's do white, see how that looks. Yeah, that's kinda of cool. Let's keep adding some stuff. So I wanna have a pencil. Flip horizontal. Kinda of adjust the sizing. Okay, so I finally found a pencil that I can actually adjust the color on. I feel like there used to be a lot more. So I'm gonna rotate that, maybe blow it up a little bit. And then because I see this color icon here, that is what allows me to adjust it. Let's do that dark blue some more. Give it a little more rotate. And then I think I just wanna do like a piece of paper or a notebook or something like that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's try notebook. Ooh, that's fun. All right, and so I've got all of these colors that I can edit, and I don't need to have five different colors, right? I can just duplicate some of them. So let's try to keep it to this scheme. I think that would be good. So I'm gonna make that interior part white. We're gonna make the orange this kind of blue. And I don't want that maroon, that's a little bit much. I kind of like the pink though, the pink looks cool. So I'm gonna put that in the center, kind of scoot this over. I think that looks pretty good, but I kind of want the notebooks to be behind the calculator. I like the idea of the calculator in front. So I'm gonna click on position and send it backward until the calculator's on top. Actually, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back forward. Okay, so then one last piece is that I think that this homework should kind of match the color of that pink there. So I'm gonna use the fact that it has my document colors there and kind of make it that corally pink there. And I think that's really pretty. So then the second one down here, this is where it started. And this is what we have now. So you might like the original better. 
you might like this new one, but you get to make it whatever you want. That's the beauty of this. And so since I don't like this original one, I'm gonna delete that page, but I wanna duplicate the one I just made so that I can edit it to say whatever I want. So I have homework, maybe I'm gonna have a whole page for quizzes or something like that. So that is my next button that I'm gonna use. All right, so in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make the banner that will be above all of the buttons that we just made. So something that just kind of is at the very top of your Schoology page will introduce your students to what they are looking at right now. So what I found is that there isn't a great template for banners. I've made one that you are welcome to use. You can find it in the, the Google Slides or we can make a custom one. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So if you go to your homepage in Canva and click on custom size, I have found that 980 by 200 pixels is a good um, size for a banner. If you find something that works better for you, you're welcome to use that. I just think that this works really well. So now this is just fully blank, nothing on it. What I wanna do is use the same colors that I was using for those buttons that I worked on earlier. So this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday set, I wanna use that same yellow and green. So what I'm gonna do is click on the, the green stuff, click on that green color, and then if I hover over the color here, it's gonna give me that hex number. And I just wrote that down because I'm not quick at like remembering it and jumping back. And then I'm gonna write down the yellow as well. So then I can go to this blank banner that I've just made, click on the white, and I wanna change that background to be the yellow. So I'm just typing in the hex number that I got off that second page and here's that exact same yellow. So now these two designs will actually match perfectly. So we're not guessing random yellows here. We can write it down exactly. So now what I wanna do is add some text here. So I'm gonna click on text and I kinda like this. Of course, it's recently used. So you can just kinda scroll through, see which of these fonts is speaking to you and then you can adjust accordingly. So I want this to fill up the banner. So I'm gonna just drag it open and I don't want it to say that. I want it to say, oh, that is fully illegible. I don't know about this font. I think I might change that font. Okay, I kind of like that. Um, the color though is not what we want it to be. We want this purple to be the green from my buttons here. So I wrote down that hex number for the green. I'm just gonna copy that down now. And there we go. So now we can see that there's kind of this like shadow behind it. So in order to either get rid of that or just adjust the color, cause it's not the right yellow and it looks a little bit weird. I'm gonna go to effects and I can choose to either adjust what the shadow looks like or if I just re-click on it, see how now it's not that same yellow, it's now a light green. That's because it kind of automatically adjusted. And we've got all these other effects down here that we could choose to use. I think I like regular shadow and I like it as green, but you could choose other colors. If I just use the yellow that's the background, the shadow kind of blends into the background, so I don't really wanna do that. Let's see what white would do. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I think I'm gonna stick with a green shadow. So now it says my name here. If I wanted to adjust um, the spacing here, I can do that using this right here. So I think it was a little bit close together. So I'm just gonna adjust that spacing. And now it's super legible. I think it looks great. So here is my banner that's gonna go on top of these buttons here.